With Grass Park and a trendy downtown core, Brooklyn, Ontario is home to a lot of attractions. But how much does it cost to live there? If you've ever asked yourself this, you're watching the right video. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cody Sturgis. I'm a realtor from the Durham region, Ontario, and with me, you can experience the difference. Brooklyn, Ontario is a fantastic place with so many attractions and a small town feel to it, but how much does it cost to live there? In this video, we're going to break down the cost of living in Brooklyn, Ontario. Be sure to keep watching until the very end as we have a bonus tip for you. Let's not waste any more time and let's just jump right into it. Let's start off with number five. Let's talk about the average selling price and real estate history. The real estate market in Brooklyn is as vibrant as ever with an average home selling for around $1.1 million. In February of 2024, the median selling price was around $995,000 which decreased from December price of 1 million flat. The prices are great at this point from both the seller and the buyer perspective as prices fall under the affordable yet not so out of reach for the many section. The indication that the market is booming is that houses are selling within 14 days on average which shows how active the market really is. Coming to number four, let's talk about groceries. Food has been one of the leading causes behind innovation in humanity. And though you don't need to go hunting anymore, you still need to get groceries and sometimes that can feel like an absolute major adventure. Groceries in Brooklyn, Ontario are around 13% higher than the national average. This means you have to spend more money on your food budget or look for ways to save on grocery shopping by shopping at discount grocery stores. Another way to do this is to take advantage of sales and coupons and use price comparison apps to find the best deals. Lastly, you can consider buying in bulk to save more money. These strategies allow you to maximize your grocery budget in Brooklyn, Ontario. Now, moving on to number three, let's talk about utility costs. Utility costs vary from house to house, but on average, the cost of utilities is 10% higher than the national average in Brooklyn. This is mainly because Brooklyn is located in Ontario, which has higher utility costs than most other provinces in Canada. With a rapidly growing population, this is just going to put increased strain on an already strained infrastructure which will likely drive pricing up even more. Coming in at number two, let's discuss healthcare costs. In Brooklyn, Ontario, healthcare costs are 5% higher than the national average. This means that when people need medical care, they might pay more than those in other parts of Canada. This increase in cost can affect families and individuals, making it harder for them to afford necessary medical treatments, doctor visits, or prescription medications. Higher healthcare costs also strain the local healthcare system as more people struggle to afford the care that they desperately need and they seek out more cost-effective options if they don't have a robust private healthcare insurance. Communities must recognize these differences and advocate for accessible healthcare for everyone. Moving on to number one, let's talk about transportation costs. In Brooklyn, Ontario, transportation costs encompass various facets reflecting both convenience and affordability. Residents can access public transit for short journeys with a one-way ticket for local transport starting at $4 and it goes up from there based on the distance traveled. However, for frequent travelers, the monthly pass price is $128.75 for one adult over the age of 20. 
Taxi fares vary with a starting price as soon as you get in the car for about $4.88. Additionally, owning a car involves expenses such as gasoline, which is priced at $1.51 per liter as of this video. These costs collectively influences residents' transportation choices in Brooklyn, balancing public transit and private vehicle ownership based on their individual needs and preferences. As promised, let's talk about the bonus tip, how to increase affordability in Brooklyn, Ontario. Living in Brooklyn, Ontario is exciting, but it's also a little challenging on the wallet. To save money on costs, consider living close to work to avoid spending time and money on gas or diesel. To keep your finances in good shape, Try not to overspend on housing and to be house poor. And think about how you can repurpose things instead of always buying brand new. Be sure to review your energy bills, how to reduce your grocery bills, and limit your entertainment costs to one streaming service or free options. To stay financially stable, cut back on your spending on utilities, Look for part-time work to make some extra money and put the needs ahead of wants. These valuable tips will help you live independently, keep you financially stable and give you peace of mind living in Brooklyn's lively community. Now, if you found any value in this video and you'd like to see more content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel along with my other socials. Once again, my name is Cody Sturgis. I'm a realtor from Durham Region, Ontario. If you'd like to get in touch with me, my contact information is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, you can experience the difference with Cody Sturgis Realtor.